Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Uh, today I'm going to show you around a 1999 Bayliner 2052 LS pre cutty It's an absolutely cracking little boat. It's 21 feet long. It's got a Mercruiser 4.3 litre Alpha 1 stern drive. It's 190 horsepower. Performance is great. It's got a little cutty cabin which is big enough for stowing lots of gear and it also makes into uh, a double berth. Um, it's got a full set of camper covers. It's in really excellent condition throughout. Um, it's just been through our workshop and it's had a full service. It's been fully validated. The, the hull has been uh, polished and waxed and it is just ready to go for the season, something like a new pin. I'm gonna show you through the features on the boat. I've had it in the water as well, so I'm gonna show you the footage of the boat running and you can see what you think. Before I get in the boat, um, I just want to point out the condition of it uh, and the exterior. The shine off the gel coat is fantastic. It looks like it, uh, it's about three or four years old. Apart from a few light scratches in the top sides, there's you know there's no other there's no major defects anywhere at all on this boat. The the robin streak is in perfect condition the whole way around. The hull bottom is very good condition. It's been just been antifoiled. Um, all the hardware, the rails, the cleats, everything is pristine and it's uh, all really solid as well and secure. Um, this, this boat, everything about this boat just shows that it's been well looked after, hasn't been, uh, hasn't been abused in any way. All the button poppers are all there and, and, and working and uh, it's just, just a really tidy boat. Uh, Starting at the stern. We've got a, an integrated swim platform with a moulded non-skid and they've picked out the, the name Capri in the, in the deck as well, it looks the part. We've got uh, an integrated uh, three-step stainless steel boarding ladder with a little stainless steel handle on the back here. We've got a central ski toe point. We've got the, a water fill point for uh, a fresh water tank that's been installed uh, on this boat and that is running a transom shower so we've got a pull out shower there for washing yourself down after you've been in the in the water. Um, that wouldn't that wouldn't have been a bayliner option that, that's been retrofitted by one of the previous owners but it's been professionally done and it's a really tidy job. We've got a fuel fill point here as well and we've also got a little a flag pole mount there as well. The stern drive is in is in really good condition. It's been antifoiled <coughs> um, there's no uh, scuffs or scrapes on it. The, the skeg is in perfect Perfect order, uh, as is the prop. Uh, inside the boat, then the uh, the same story continues. The, the upholstery, apart from a few little sort of nicks and things around the tops of some of the seats, um, and just you know where the movies caught the the bimini frame, lifting it off. The, the the upholstery is is all in original condition, and it's extremely good uh, for for its age again. Um, Inside the boat, the cockpit's all about just maximising seating space um, for carrying the whole family. So we've got twin back-to-back uh, -back seats on the helm and passenger side. And we've also got um, two low-set jump seats either side of the engine box at the back here. So these are really nice and low, so whenever you're sitting in those seats, you, know, you feel nice and secure. The cockpit's fitted with a, a full-fitted marine-grade carpet. Again, that's in perfect condition. There's no stains or wear areas on it. It's all in very good order. The other thing uh, that the boat does really well, apart from getting bums on seats, is uh, the storage. So there's the, the storage options are well thought through and there's lots of them. We've got huge big storage uh, bins in the gunnels and out on either side of the boat. And they are, they're upholstered and they're, they're nicely finished um, as well. So, but you'll, you'll be able to fit lots of gear down in there. Uh, you've got a little bit of storage space underneath both the, the aft seats. We've more storage then as well uh, in underneath the, the twin back-to-back -back seats. Not, not loads, but we've got a, a little bit of storage in there. You can access it by opening up the seats like this. Uh, if we keep going with the seats, then you can fold the whole, the whole seat out into a sun lounger. Or we can put it completely flat. Um, to give you a full length sun lounger.
We've got a huge big locker under the floor also. The access through this hatch, and that's big enough to swallow up skis and, and fenders and ropes and all sorts of stuff down in there. Access to the cabin then in the boat is through a nice wide uh, three-tiered access door. And the cabin itself is a, is a really good size for a 21 foot boat. It converts into a double bed, which is a nice big size double for the, you know, if you're spending the occasional overnight on the boat. Uh, and it's also got a little porta potty in there, um, uh, which I know for people with young kids and families is, uh, can be invaluable having that. This one is still got the plastic wrapping on it and it's never been used. Again, all the upholstery in the cabin is excellent. The, all the seat cushions are there. There's no staining on them. They're not damp. They're completely dry. And the, uh, there's no, the condition of the upholstery and the carpets on, on, the, on the floor are all top notch. We've also got a little light up in there and uh, an opening hatch. So just a bit of safety, a safety feature too. If the, if the, if the door uh, gets stuck on you, you can get uh, uh, access through the hatch. The helm position is, uh, is really good. The, the seats, although they don't give you any uh, real adjustment, it's, I mean, I'm sort of average height, average build, and the steering wheel has fallen comfortably to hand. Uh, I've got a clear view through the windscreen whenever I'm sitting down. Uh, and I've also got room to, to stand up at the helm as well. Um, we've got uh, a Garmin GPS map 178C, which is a combination uh, chart plotter and sounder. It's fully operational, picking us up here in our current location. Uh, and that's, uh, you can have this set to either full screen chart, you can have it split screen chart and depth sounder, or we can have full screen depth sounder fish finder. Um, so it's a, it's a really neat piece of gear. Um, we've got a full dash, all the full range of marine instrumentation, and we've got all our switch gear um, falling easily to hand as well. The throttle position is, is very comfortable. I've got a padded uh, armrest here as well um, on this the gunnel, and uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a really it's a really straightforward and easy to use driving position. This boat does handle and go really well with a 4.3 liter engine as well. Um, so you can have a, you know, a good bit of fun uh, driving this boat and throwing it, throwing it through the turns.
We've got a couple of 12 volt sockets down here at the, at the driver's right hand side as well for if you're looking to charge your phone or, or uh, plug in like a little power inverter or something. Down below the helm position then we've got a storage for a, a fire extinguisher and you'll also notice the CE plate as well, CE certified boat and it's uh, rated to carry uh, 8 people plus gear. A couple of other things to point out are the, the water sports mirror which is mounted to the screen here which is handy if you're pulling skiers or towables uh, and you're on your own in the boat you can keep an eye on what's happening behind. We've got a couple of molded steps, non-skid, uh, given access out through the opening windscreen onto the foredeck. So the, the top step and the foredeck are all molded non-skid as well and it gives you access out into the anchor locker. It's a good size anchor locker up there uh, and a couple of cleats um, on either side at, right at the fore peak of the bow. We've got a nice high uh, rail going the whole way around the front of the boat too so if you are out there sun lounging or putting the anchor out um, just gives you a bit of extra security on the deck. Again everything around here is all it all fits well, it's all in good condition, everything's solid and secure, all the, the stays for the cabin doors, uh, the switch gear is all operational, um, nothing feels like it's worn out, you know the boat is, the, everything about the boat is just in, uh, in really great condition. The boat's sitting on a, on a single axle galvanized trailer, it's just had the wheel bearings done, it's had a new tyre uh, fitted. Um, and it's got a, a UK uh, towing hitch on the front of it. So there you have it. Um, that's our 1999 Bayliner 2052 LS Capri Cuddy. As you can see from the walkthrough there uh, and from looking at the boat running in the water, the whole thing is in, uh, is in excellent condition. It's a fantastic little package. Uh, the boat, the trailer, it's got a full set of camper covers that were replaced uh, brand new in 2008. Uh, the whole thing has been fully serviced and it's completely ready to go for the season. We're offering this boat with a three month warranty so you get complete peace of mind um, for the season ahead. And uh, it's fantastic value as well. At the price it's been advertised that, um, this definitely it has to be the best value. Uh, 21 foot cutty boat uh, of its class on the market today. I have absolutely no qualms about selling this boat uh, to anybody and I think it would make a fantastic little little uh, starter boat for somebody that's got a small family that are looking to get in the boat in um, or likewise maybe somebody who's had a little uh, 17 or 18 foot bow rider just looking to move up and do a bit more, go a bit further afield, maybe spend the odd night on the boat. Something like this is, uh, is perfect, perfect for that type of use. So if you want to know more or you want to come and have a look at the boat, please just give me a call or drop me an email um, and uh, I'd be delighted to talk to you. Thank you for watching.